How are you? I'm... F you're looking stunning in brown. Thank you very much. A symphony in beige. <laughs> a symphony in beige, whereas <laughs> Peggy tonight has chosen an off-the-shoulder Chinese neckline Woolworth's number. <laughs> <laughs> to match your shirt. To match my shirt. It's Get that child out, please. Good. Oh, that's fine, Peg. I love your shirt. It is nice, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it nice? Hello, Dave. Hello, I'm not feeling too good today. What's wrong? Well, this morning I ran over myself and it's a bit painful. How did you run over yourself? Well, I asked a little boy to run across the street for some cigars and he wouldn't go, so I ran, ran over myself. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Dave, really? <laughs> Remarkable memory has our Dave Gray. I'm sure that's 1918. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't Hello. tell new ones, I just refresh your memory. Thank you, Dave. Hello, Carol. I wore... Hello, Graham. I wore beige because you were in beige before everybody was in beige, and I thought beige is the in colour. Now you've all changed to blue, green. Oh, no, so you match me. Being I match you. Being... Oh. May I have my show back? Oh. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. It's quite all right. No, Friday, you see, I always wear my blue on Friday. Oh, I Didn't you know it was Friday? No. Neither oh, did I. Until someone just tell me. <laughs> Vision and evening blue, you are. Stuart, you've got that always. Oh, that, God, that last. Doesn't it just, yes. That really is remarkable. Uh huh. Savile Row, 1928. <laughs> but it comes up so fresh. May I write your message? <laughs> no, because you'll say something awful. Yes. Jane, welcome to our show. You look lovely too in oh, green. Thank you, my blue heaven. Jane. My blue heaven. <laughs> my blue. Do that Gleason voice, just a, a, a bit of it. Mmm, boy, this is. Good booze tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jackie was fond of a glass, wasn't oh, he? And was... still is, I imagine. Yes, that uh, coffee cup at the end was not coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Jane, why would you come all this way to Australia and only perform in, in Sydney when Melbourne and Brisbane and Adelaide and Perth all want the show too? Well, I don't know. They invited me to Sydney, so I thought this is a good opportunity to do the play that I did in Las Vegas for so long. Be watching for uh, Jane and Keenan Wynn. What's in... the name of the play? Mind with a Dirty Man. You did it again. And it's at the Minerva. <laughs> but only in Sydney. Hold us because they write such dumb things. <laughs> Sometimes. The clothing salesman, Helen, said, This shark skin suit is so authentic, it even has... Teeth. Teeth is a superb answer. <laughs> I bet... I bet Barry, Barry Creighton has written down teeth. I just bet, I have a feeling. You lose. Oh, blimey. I'm terribly sorry, but I thought that was perhaps a little too obvious, so I put Jaws. Jaws, I uh... thought, is not a match, though, is it? Isn't that Jaws and teeth? Imagine some teeth without some Jaws hanging onto it. <laughs> no, not a match. Sorry about that, Peggy. We've, we're looking for teeth. Right, you get teeth. You get teeth. <laughs> But My next door neighbour had a very bad experience. <laughs> what? Your next door neighbour has many bad experiences. I don't know. It's a bit of a case. Oh. I, no, really, and he did, and he went swimming, and he said to me, he said, a shark has just bit my leg off. I said, which one? He said, I don't know. All oh. the sharks look alike. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I told you the other day, my dog bit me on the leg. Rick, did you put anything on it? No, he seemed to like it the way it was. Come on, come on. Said teeth as well. Oh, I forgot to ask. <laughs> Thanks, Dave, for reminding me. <laughs> See, every now and then we get back to the game. Isn't it fascinating? <laughs> Carol, teeth or jaws or? I love ugly Dave, and I've done the same thing. Teeth? Oh, goodness me. Stuart, the clothing salesman, said this shark skin suit is so authentic it even has. Well, I'm a film fan like Barry. Jaws, jaws, yes. Uh, yeah. I would have put jaws had I been playing. Swatch. I beg your pardon? Spelled backwards, it's swadge. Jaws, is it? Yes, swadge. Oh, you heard it first on <laughs> Blankety Blanks. And you want it. Jane, what did you have hidden there? Well, I went a little farther and I put teeth marks. <laughs> and even had teeth marks, but that's a match teeth, I think. Yes, of course it is. Ooh. At the zoo, Carol said to her husband, and no, I, 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 I imagine it means Carol because Carol's husband is... A veterinary surgeon. Yes. Who's in Spain. He's going off tomorrow to Spain. <laughs> or with a bit of luck. No, I can't say that. <laughs> no, no, that cannot be said. <laughs> but in Go any on. case, he's going we haven't... off tomorrow anyway. He's going off tomorrow, yes, and we haven't been to the zoo recently, but what was I supposed to say to him? But listen, why Tell is he me. a veterinary, a veterinary surgeon in Spain? That worries me. Like, is there a shortage of bull people over there? <laughs> I don't think so. He's helping breed some cattle and things. Oh, I see. All that sort of thing, you know. It's terribly Strong. dull. Tell me what I said to him at the zoo. At the zoo? <laughs> 
At the zoo, <laughs> Carol know. said to her husband, look at that enormous ape over there. It looks just like you're blank. <laughs> at the zoo, Carol said to her husband, oh, look at that enormous ape over there. It looks just like you're blank. Can we edit this? Of course we can, yes. You can put anything you want and we just cut it out after. That's been the story of my life over recent years. Stuart and Jane are pretty... Say it again, quickly. Oh, at the zoo, Carol said to her husband, look at the enormous ape over there, it looks just like you're blank. Oh, very well. That's the way you feel. John, I've just seen a funny answer over there. <laughs> at the zoo, Carol said to her husband, look at that enormous ape over there. It looks just like your... Mother. Mother. <laughs> they agree with that one. John needs five to win. Five to win. So we hope we've got five mothers up here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't touch that. <laughs> That's funny in America. It's not necessarily funny over here. <laughs> <laughs> Barry at the zoo, Carol said to her husband, look at that enormous ape over there, it looks just like your... No offence, Carol. Father. Father. Father and mothers don't match ever. Thank goodness. <laughs> Mother! <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four. Still five to win, Dave. The rest of that question, actually, there's more to that question. You know? Tell me it. No, because the ape grabbed Carol and pulled her through the bars. Yeah? And Carol shouted to her husband, she said, look, the, <laughs> the, the ape's trying to rape me, what shall I do? And her husband said, tell him you've got a headache like you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got it. You haven't got brother. Brother. Oh, Carol. Got a mother over here, do you think? No, I haven't. I don't know why I put what I did, but it's You're ashamed wrong. of your answer, friend. <laughs> so, that means Helen Cross is our new champion. Come up, Helen. Come up. John doesn't go away empty-handed. He's already got $100. Thank you for playing Blankety Blanks, John. Thank you. Bye. There goes John. Wave goodbye. Goodbye, John. Clincher, you have selection in round 1A or B. B, everybody plays, and in round one, as in round two, every match is worth a point. When Graham Kennedy's Blankety Blanks celebrities go streaking... I'll just start that again. When, <laughs> when Graham Kennedy's Blankety Blanks celebrities go streaking, they make blank wear a raincoat. Blank can be two words. Jane, that means... One of the celebrities, I think. I... No, I can't help. When Graham Kennedy's blankety blank celebrities, that's all of us, go streaking. Do they streak in America? Oh, very much so. They do. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they make blank wear a raincoat. Yes, that would have to be. That would be have to be one of the celebrities, I would think. I don't think that's helping too much to say that. Blank can be more than one word. <laughs> And Jane has thought of an answer? Right. Peter, when Graham Kennedy's blankety blank celebrities go streaking, they make wear a raincoat. They make Stuart wear a... Make Stuart <laughs> race them. <laughs> no, that's understandable. That's, that's, that's understandable, Peter, I must say, because I don't want to put Dave and, and, and Barry to shame. <laughs> Rare tropical fruits that I have made. Barry, <laughs> this, I guess what we're looking for now is six Stuart Wagstaffs. So yes. What a vile. <laughs> All in raincoats. All in raincoats. <laughs> Goodness me. Barry, who did you come Well, up? I have the same feeling about frightening the horses in the street, so I'd make Stuart wear a raincoat. Ah, a man. <laughs> who was it who said, I don't care what anybody does as long as they don't do it in the street and frighten the horses? <laughs> I think of Mrs. Patrick Campbell said the original Eliza Doolittle Pygmalion. and she is the lady who said that. And me. Oh, I just really? said it. Ah. Yes, and Barry just said it. You yeah, said who written it. That's why I told you. While I was away, I bought, I bought Punch. I hadn't seen Punch oh, for a long time. They had a marvellous poem in it, which I think is acceptable. If it's not, we can take it out. But it was the boy who stood on the burning deck with his bottom hard up against the mast, said, I will not move an inch till Oscar Wilde goes past. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? I see. All right, then. Oh, I loved it. I thought it was nice. So did I. Peggy, when Graham Kennedy's blankety blank celebrities go streaking, they make blank wear a raincoat. I love Stuart streaking, but I think Dave would have to Dave. wear a raincoat. Uh, oh, Dave. oh, you want to see his legs, Stuart? <laughs> when did you? Legs. The last time I saw a leg like Stuart's, it had a message tied to it. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's a bird, you see, and that was. When... And I wished I was dead. He got arrested for no visible means of support. <laughs> Dave, uh, when did you see Stuart's legs? I didn't know this was happening. In the, in the dressing room, actually. Oh, do you really? Yes. Mm. Is it fun? No. <laughs> Dave, who was it? He hangs up his shoulders next to my shirt. Oh, come on. <laughs> I thought everybody would have a go at me, so I put me. Me, Dave Gray. No, it wasn't. Carol, who do you think should wear a raincoat? Well, we're terribly in tune, that gentleman up there, because I put the same. <laughs> me. me. <laughs> that's, that's our modest Carol. You see, she wouldn't go street <laughs> without a raincoat, Stuart. I got me own bag. <laughs> <laughs> I got me own bag. Jane, th this might have been a difficult one for you. Well, I, not really, because I think we should protect the star at all times. Me? Uh, me? <laughs> yes, well, that, that's kind. Well, yes, and warm. Off, we wouldn't have a show. That's right, if I was caught streaking, goodness me. I'd love to see it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see it. Sometime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, <laughs> Helen, Doug said, I just took a trip on an airline. I don't know why he talks like this. <laughs> Doug said, I just took a trip on an airline that really had first class service. After you eat, the hostess blanks you. <laughs> Doug said, I just took a trip on an airline that had really first class service. After you eat, the hostess blanks you. <laughs> Sorry, that was a, an unfortunate... Uh, it just popped out. It wasn't meant to help. Air is just wind in motion. Right -o. Helen Doug said, I just took a trip on an airline that had really first-class service. After you eat, the hostess... Wipes you. Wipes you. <laughs> Um, have you ever had the experience of being in a jumbo? <laughs> Go on. First class and uh, the hostess or the steward comes up and does that. <laughs> I've told it's a frequent occurrence. And not only because of the airline food. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, we're looking... I'll give you the question again. Doug said, I just took a trip on an airline that had really first class service. After you eat, the hostess... Burps you. Burps you is what I thought too, uh, yes. And so did I. And so did Peggy. Uh, and so, and did, so did Dave. Uh, and Carol did too, probably. No, she has wipes. <laughs> Fans! <laughs> 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 yes, yes. I don't even know how to <laughs> Yes, and of course, in a jumbo, you need such a big fan. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Not all lumps on the bread. That, I'm that's so sorry. <laughs> Goodness me. One of my daughters wanted to be an air hostess. I'm not going to let her if it's all that wiping goes on. <laughs> <laughs> With 500 passengers. <laughs> Wouldn't it become tedious, not to mention boring and dull? Oh, oh. I mean, after the first 12, you'd think, oh, I've oh, seen sorry. all this. <laughs> <laughs> Bath. Bath. Bath! Yes, you would have. No, only first time. First class. Jane, I bet you've got burps. I have got burps. She has got burps. Oh, See, there were no wipes there. No wipes at all. <laughs> Helen, you